Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today we're looking at a tool in the UV editor. The UV editor can be found in several different ways. One easy way is to go to the Windows menu, and down here in the list we have UV editor. I click that and open it up, and this is the UV editor screen. We've been talking a lot about UV editor tools lately, and the next one in our list, if we go to the tool menu here, we have tweak UV tool right here. So tweak UV tool is a relatively simple tool, uh, but it does require some UVs to do any tweaking too. So let's create an object real quick. I'll go to create polygon primitives and let's create a plane. I'll scale it up just so it's easier to see and I'll hide the grid. So back in my UV editor here we can see now with the plane selected I have a grid of UVs here. So if I go to tool, tweak UV tool and select it, my plane of UVs highlight blue indicating we're in a component mode. Let me zoom in so this will be easier to see. And you'll also notice I have a yellow reticle attached to my cursor. So what the Tweak UV tool lets you do is move UVs without using the Move tool. And it is kind of uh, limited to moving UVs. You're not rotating and scaling UVs. It's called Tweak UV because you're just simply tweaking them. You're moving them slightly. So as I mouse around through here, I'm not clicking or anything, but you can see the UVs highlight as I mouse through. And I'm not hovering over the UV, I'm just simply close to it, and it highlights red as I get close to them. So with a UV highlighted, not necessarily selected or uh, being touched or anything, it's just highlighted. So for example, in this situation, my cursor is kind of down here in the middle of this uh, face of the plane. but the red highlighted UV is the one that will be tweaked when I use the Tweak UV tool. So you don't necessarily have to be right on top of the UV, but you'll notice that when I do get on top of the UV, the tool will snap to it. There is a snapping distance that when you get close enough to a UV, the little yellow reticle will snap to it, like so. So there is that kind of handy feature. If you have a lot of very dense UVs, you can use that snapping to help you get the one you want. So once you have a UV highlighted, simply left clicking and dragging anywhere will allow you to move that UV around. I'm not using the move tool, for example, this is the move tool, and if I don't click on the move tool, you know, the move tool goes away and I'm no longer moving things, you know, I have to select the ones I want and use the arrows or the little circle handle in the middle to move the UVs around. And that's using a typical move tool. With the tweak UV tool, which is also handy to find right here in the UV editor toolbar, instead of having to use the arrows of a move tool, I can simply, with the correct UV highlighted, and it will move the UV around without having to worry about handles or anything like that. So as you can see, when you get close to a UV, it will automatically highlight, and when you left click and drag, you can move it around. Now if you want to select multiple UVs, you can't simply left click and drag a marquee selection around them because you will instead just simply grab the nearest UV and tweak it as opposed to dragging a bounding box around the UVs you want to move. So with the tweak UV tool active, you can hold shift, left click and drag and that will allow you to add more UVs to your selection. So if I drag a box around this group of UVs for example, these UVs get added to my selection. You see I still have this one up here and I have this group, and when I left click and drag now, they all get tweaked. If you want to remove a UV from your selection, hold shift and drag a box around it and it will be removed from your selection. So we can double click on the tool here in the toolbar or go to Tool, Tweak UV Tool and go into the Options. And I'll move this over. So the options are simply one slider, Tool Snapping, and there's a value of 10 by default. And what this simply means is, as I zoom in here, is a distance that that little reticle will snap to. If we increase this up and hit Apply, now you'll see that with this really high value within tool snapping, the little reticle will snap to a UV quite quickly and from far away. If we lower this down, by default it's 10, so if we lower it down to something like 2 and hit Apply, you'll see it doesn't really snap at all until you're like right on top of it. So you're increasing or decreasing how sensitive the snapping function is for the little reticle on the UVs. So you can increase this if you feel like that's too low. 
So you have a distance like this when, with the value of 26 or so. But you can fiddle with that to get what feels right to you. Here's a value of 15. But yeah, that's the only real option within the Tweak UV Tool Options tool snapping. I'll close that. So yeah, holding down Shift allows you to add or subtract from your selection, but otherwise you can click and drag on a UV and move it around without using any kind of move tool and simply tweak UVs quite easily, very quickly, without having to worry too much about other handles or accidentally selecting the wrong UV since you have this snapping function. I'm not making anything in particular here, but I'm just kind of showing you what tweaking the UVs might look like in a typical situation. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned a little bit about the UV editor, feel free to ask questions. If I miss something, let me know, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you later.